Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Reality Is, where words do come to life. Well, as you all know, I always said that I will always come to you when I have an update in Cook County Jail, in Statesville, wherever it may be, because we're sitting in season where I believe, and as conversations unfold, a lot of us believe that our government, our system is trying to roll us backwards. And I'm not saying everybody, but there's a quite a few individuals who would like to see us go back to where we started from. But this video right here is going to reference Cook County Jail again. So there is an inmate in Division 11 who is sick with breast cancer. Um, they're really sick with breast cancer and they are isolated in a cell, only allowed to come out maybe one hour a day. And the reason being is because they don't want him to be infected. Now, when I spoke to individuals at the chief justice office downtown in 69 West Madison, there was a young lady in the office who said that the medical portion for inmates was very good and that whatever their needs were uh, need to be met as it relates to a sickness or whatever it may be, those needs would be met. So help me to understand because here is my problem. If the inmate has cancer, they haven't been found innocent or guilty. And they're inside of a cell with no medical, no nurses, no nothing. Uh, CEOs are not nurses. Um, the sheriffs that's in the prison are not nurses. Matter of fact, the hours of operation, I'm sure, is pretty much nil to none and pretty much probably a little slow. But whatever the need is for the inmate is not being met. And if you are doing such a good job at taking care of inmates, then why is this inmate in a cell instead of uh, infirmary, whatever you have, a hospital for people who has cancer. Again, I go back to the mentality of our people, our elected officials, and those who are authorities in position. This proves my point of inhumane treatment. This proves my point of treating black and brown like animals. This proves my point. Now, let's take it a step further. You have to understand that that individual still belongs to somebody. The mother is probably worried. The family is probably concerned. And they have no idea of the conditions in which this young man is living in. And we sit in our high polluting suits with our nice houses, our nice cars, and our fancy friends and golfing and everything else. And this country in which we call the land of the free. And which we call the United States, what is supposed to represent diversity, is supposed to represent a country where people are treated fairly. And we already know that's not the case. Nobody as of color is treated fairly. Our prison system shows that. The way things play out in front of us on television shows that the scales of justice are not balanced and it's just us. And so to have a young man who I understand his hair is falling out. He looks really bad. Um, to be confined for a long period of time and only let out for maybe a, an hour a day because they have breast cancer and none of y'all have enough heart to put him in the hospital or let his mom come see him or do something so y'all just gonna let him die in there kim fox because your office is to blame for all of this the stall process that you're doing that young man could have been home or been in chemo or, or going to a good facility where he can be cared for and so clearly for me Listening to this story, that means that the medical portion, which are um, those who are in charge from the chief justice office, is not like you say it is. It's not up to par. Because if you are allow that young man to lay in a cell 
knowing that he has cancer. And we know cancer is a deadly illness, a disease. And depending on the stage of the cancer, y'all don't have enough heart to put him in a hospital where he could be comfortable and get the necessary treatment that he needs. So you, you, you figure confinement is the best thing and then you just let him die and then you come up with another excuse as to reasons why he didn't get the proper medical help that he deserved to have when you're collecting um, money off the top of his head. I know there's insurance policy on every inmate that's inside of anybody's prisons or Cook County or county jails. You're not letting them lay there for free. Now, you all are financially straining the family. You find like, find, you're stressing the family. You are upsetting mothers. And clearly, we can see y'all don't care. But yet and still, everybody is gearing up for election time. Everybody is getting their teams together to pitch their campaign and to pitch why they should be the person that we should look at for sitting in that seat again. But the question is, why shouldn't we? From what I see and from what I sit, I don't think none of y'all should get back in there. And I'm just being honest. A lot of people may disagree with me. You can disagree with me if you want to. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. It's supposed to be a free country, freedom of choice, freedom of speech, but we clearly see Whatever goes on, it's not as free as we think it is, especially for black and brown. If that young man dies in there and there is no proper adequate care for him, which is ridiculous. And I'm sure that the food that's being fed is not sufficient for somebody who has cancer. I have yet to hear that they have been to chemo like any other cancer patient would go to chemo. But yet you got these teledoctors, yet and still you say that Cook County Jail inmates are cared for. Well, from my perspective, they are not cared for. Tom Dart. So Tony Prettwinkle, Tom Dart, Kim Fox, you all are to take ownership to this mess. That's happening in Cook County Jail. And this ain't the first story. But this is the story right here that touches my heart. Because that child belongs to somebody. Whether you like it or not. He belongs to somebody. And to allow an inmate to be sick inside those walls. And y'all don't give a damn. That's a problem. That's a real big problem. But yet and still y'all stand up and take these oath of office. Don't put your hand on another Bible. Because you know you're lying. And the Bible speaks about liars. You're not transparent. You're not upfront. And neither are you all honest about anything. So my suggestion to you all before you launch out and make these great speeches of how you've been so good and how you impacted and how you made a way in the community, the black and brown community, think twice. Because this is ridiculous. Nobody should sit in anybody's jail for three years without going to trial. There should be a statute of limitation for the state's attorney office, the judges in the court to get a case resolved. It don't take you that long. Y'all got all the evidence. You get what you want when you want it. You know what you know when you want to know. And clearly it is a tactic to break an individual is a tactic to destroy the family. It's a tactic to snatch the parent out of the home from the child. Your system does not help. It does not fix it. It does not change the problem. It makes it worse because they go in there with nothing. You strip them of everything. And then the family is left with the bulk of the burden. And some families, I'm sure, have lost property because they put it up. People don't understand the ins and outs of the justice system. And that's what you all bank on, that they don't have no knowledge and they don't have no understanding. That's what you bank on. And then you bank on that they will get so tired of sitting there, they just plea out. And then they have a record for the rest of their life. Why is it that you all feel the need to set us up, but y'all won't set y'all own asses up? You want to free your people, the white people. You want to free them, but you want to throw us up under, not in the jail, but up under the jail and throw away the key. This system is so flawed. And all I've seen for the past year and beyond that, we get the harsh sentence. 
is. There's no balance here, none whatsoever. And even though we have a black state's attorney, I can't tell. I don't think I'm going to let up. I am not. I'm not letting up. I'm not budging. And I'm not pulling back from this. Was at a meeting, and I understand that judges play a large part too. But see, we've all been talking about defunding the police department, but there is blank part. The state's attorney holds the bulk of the ownership. Tom Dart, you're not too far from the second. Tony Prepper, you right in there too. And Governor Prisca, you the oversee of it all. So when you all allow somebody to suffer inside those prison walls without making sure they get proper medical care, when you allow them to suffer in a cell, so whether he's in the cell or out the cell, the bars are still open, he still can get infection. He's in an open environment. So you all don't care about life. You don't care about life. You care about your statistical data, your analytics, and that's it. You don't care about the person, the background, the history, how they live. Was they a troublemaker? You don't care about none of that. You care about the brownie points you get to put on your, your record, which makes you stick your chest out boldly and say, I locked up 30% of the black and brown. I locked up 40% of the black and brown. And how does that look? And I keep saying this over and over again. Be mindful. Be really mindful of what you do and how you do it. Because God knows the real motives for why you all sit in the position that you sit in. He knows the real motives and he knows the real intentions of how you're going to use that position. And while you may dupe us and may get over on us, not that blind anymore. We're not that deaf, and we see here a lot. And you all are showing us more than we see in here. We see how the system is unbalanced. We see that. The whole picture is painted. We see it played out on TV. We see it. We see it. And now it's time for you all to know that we see it. Kim Fox, we see it. So you can get all the security detail. You can do whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. But I'm telling you, reaping and sowing is real. Very much so. Karma is real. And the same ditch you dig for these inmates and keep them confined without giving them proper medical care, without providing them proper food, and without providing them water and cleaning materials and all that good stuff, a safe environment. Just know. Karma. It comes around like a boomerang. Fast as you can get your hand, quick as it come back. And a lot of y'all got a lot of boomerangs that's coming back. So understand that. So for our Chief Judge Timothy Evans, for our Tom Darts, our Kim Fox, our Tony Prepwinkle, our Mayor Lifer, our Governor Prisler, our Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton, our State Representative, our Congressmen, our Senators, all the decision makers who have these individuals confined in these prison walls and does not pay attention to the medical necessity. And then you want to classify it as a COVID case. Everything ain't COVID. And we're very much aware that everything is not COVID. So I say to you, eyes are open and they're watching every time. I get a report from anybody inside of Cook County Jail or whatever it may be. They can be in Alabama, Mississippi. I don't care. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Simple as that. It's just cut and dry. And y'all been setting us up forever in a day. You've been setting us up forever in a day. So I have no faith. I have no belief in you all that sits in the seats of authority and say you're looking out for the needs of the people. I beg the difference. You're looking out for your selfishness. Because if you all were really looking out for people, that's Republicans too. If you all was really looking out for people, we would not be in the conditions and the situations we are in. And that's sad. And you know who suffers the most in your, your decision maker? Black and brown. And you rely on white people to provide you statistical data and analytics. And they don't have a clue 
of our culture, what happens in our community. You don't have a clue. You don't have no understanding whatsoever because you don't what you don't stand and you don't stand in these shoes. Not at all. Okay. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right. Until we talk again. Okay.